me this one. Okay, this one is actually, kind of, it's not exactly a sum of the U equals delta T. Uh, this one is a problem about power and efficiency. We have two equations, two equations that we need to kind of remember. Power out over power in is equal to the efficiency. And also power equals force times velocity. Okay, so let's use those. 50 kilogram load B is hoisted by motor M so that the load uh, has a constant velocity of 1.5 meters per second to determine the power input to the motor, which operates at efficiency of 0.8. So if this has an efficiency of 0.8, and I want to know the power in, then what if we take that equation? If, if I knew the power out, then I could give you the power in, right? If I knew the power out, the power out is the what's actually actually happening right the power out is what's actually happening and so what's actually happening is this block is going with a velocity of 1.5 and there's a force f right here the tension <coughs> is pulling it 1.5 meters per second all right so uh power out the power that's actually happening is the force that's actually happening times the velocity that's actually happening what is happening right here 1.5 meters per second what is the force right here in this cable i don't have enough information i can find it by doing free body diagram free body diagram all right so this is 50 9.81 this is the force in the cable or the tension in the cable so this let me sum the forces in y. This is definitely not normal tangential. This is not in a circular path. It's just going straight up. Sum the forces in y. T minus 50, 9.81 equals ma. Is it accelerating in this direction? Uh, constant velocity. So no. No, it is not accelerating in this direction. The tension right here would be 490.5 so the power that's happening what's really going on we've got a 490.5 uh tension that's pulling it 1.5 meters per second uh this power i kept it with my units a newton a newton meter per second is a watt 735 735 0.75 watts that that's the power that the motor is actually doing what power do i need to input to the motor what power do i need to give to the motor in order for it to do some work or some power of 735 well 0.8 would be uh 735 over uh what power in let's make sure this makes sense 919.7 i need to give it i need to supply it electrical current whatever i need to give to it i need to supply it with 919 watts just for it to give me work of 735 watts okay now real quickly uh if i considered the force if I thought about the force times velocity up there, I would get the same power, okay? Because the force would be half, but the velocity would be double, okay? You, you, you can think about the, the tension in here is double the tension in these, but this velocity at the motor is, sorry, the tension in here would be half the tension down here but the velocity would be double all right so anyway for this problem and, and for some problems we're going to do one right next in just a second you can think about what's happening down here at that rope or you can think about what's happening up here in this rope but don't do both of them don't don't double count your work or double count your power makes sense but you can look at either, whichever location looks easier for you, 
to handle the work or the power in that rope. You can look at either one. All right, so let's look at 